Hi, and welcome to another video. This is a continuation on from my other video where we were looking at the comparison between the Samsung Galaxy Fold Android phone and the Apple iPhone 12 Pro Max and how I'm going to transition for uh, from Android to iOS. As we know, there's a, a lot of differences between iOS and Android. And as I said previously, uh, that I, the last time I had an iPhone was five years ago. So um, I have embedded a lot of my accounts and usage day to day into the Google um, apps and in the system. So uh, I want to continue using Google. So I do find a lot of the applications are still more better um, uh, than the built in uh, iOS or Apple um, default apps. Um, so I'm just having a look here to sh show you today what apps I've downloaded and what's available um, so you can google fi your iPhone. Um, so to begin with, as you can see from the App Store, um, I've managed to bring over most of the major apps that I use. So looking at uh, the apps, you can see that there's Google Keep and that's the equivalent of um, Apple's uh, Notes. So here you can see that you can put in your notes here and categorize them and uh, color them if you want to highlight them and pin them as well to the top um, and search. So you can do the same as you can within Android. And then again, I've installed Google Photos. Um, so you can, um, so I've still got my backup of my Google um, Photos that I take on the iPhone because I have uh, also um, I pay a subscription as well for uh, more storage on Google. Then I've got Google Calendar. So that's, the, of course, the equivalent of Calendar for the, um, the iPhone. Then you've got YouTube. And uh, of course, I think even most people that don't want to google fire their iPhone will still have an, uh, YouTube. Google Home I use for all the Google products and Nest products that I have in the house, like um, the Google uh, Hub and the, uh, the Nest then I've got Google Drive and then also I've got the Assistant. So it's not as integrated as is normally in an Android phone, but it's available there where you can access it. Then I've also downloaded YouTube Music. So of course that's instead of Apple Music. So I've got a subscription and then you've got of course Google Maps. I've had a look at um, Maps, um, Apple's version of it on the iPhone. I, they have come a very long way and improved them a lot. I think with all the details and everything, but they're still not as good as Google Maps. So with the apps Gmail and Google Chrome, uh, you, with these two, you can actually make them your default um, app for your email. So it's a Gmail. And then instead of Safari, you can use Chrome and you can check, make these now with an ISO 14 um, you can make this now your default apps. So when you click on anything like a mail link, it will open it instead of mail. Um, it will open it in Gmail. And also the same as for internet, it will open Chrome instead of Safari. I think Safari and Chrome do have their benefits. Um, but because, as I said before, I'm coming from Android, um, I use Chrome a lot and I can synchronize my bookmarks um, and my history and across everything so I still find it very useful um, so what you want to do is if you do want to change from your default uh, mail app and your from Safari so you would have to go into your settings and then you would scroll down and then you keep scrolling until you come to the app so you've got Chrome so you click on Chrome and then you can see the default browser app you click on that option and you then you can choose between safari and chrome and it goes for the same with gmail you can have a look here your default app so i have another one called spark um, but then you can change it to gmail mail and either the one you want and you make it your default um, some of the other apps you can't do that so if you like you go to your calendar it doesn't have the default option 
So, um, you know, Apple does lock down their apps quite a lot. So that's the one of the the uh, drawbacks I find. You can't customize your phone, um, like with launchers, you can in Android and different settings to make it customize yourself. Um, so it does it is only locked down to uh, Gmail and also Chrome. So these are the apps that you can download uh, from Google, the main ones, and you can replace and you can you can delete some of the um, default Apple apps off, but I just keep them in a separate folder. Uh, so this is a quick video just to show you the apps that you can download. And to be honest, in some ways, they are a bit better than the default app, um, Apple ones. Um, but again, of course, it's what ecosystem you've been used to. But as you, I've come from Android, um, these are the default ones and these are ones you can download to your phone and they work perfectly well. In fact, sometimes I think we like with Google Home, um, it seems to run even a little bit better sometimes than my Android phones. And uh, the Google Photos uploads your photos to Google as well, so it's seamless. Um, and yes, yeah, I've had no problems with uh, running any of these apps and everything else. Okay, thanks for watching and I hope you found this a bit useful on what apps you can use to Google Fire your iPhone. Okay, thanks for watching and please remember to like and subscribe.